Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, sorry, I hadn't gotten around to making a video uh, today. I don't even think I did yesterday, but I've got... I was going through my emails and just got one in from Morella. Now, a lot of you don't know who Morella is because you're kind of new. And um, she, she mostly just chats back and forth with me and hasn't done a lot of that lately um but anyway she, her it's a very long story she has four children two from an ex-husband two from a guy that promised to take care of her and the boys she figured they'd get married he never would he always, you know, well, can't do it, don't want to right now, whatever. And as soon as that second baby, uh, she was going to leave right after the first one. But while she was recovering, she got pregnant again. She stayed, and when, as soon as she was recovering, she you know, cut that thing off, and, and she got out of there. Well, um, anyway, but she's had to end up letting him have the two babies because she just could not afford to take care of four children and house them and take care of them. Her, she's been depressed since the la with the last two babies, probably postpartum depression and not having a husband and a home and all she was promised with the first husband, and that didn't work out. Well, anyway, long story short, Salvador has their babies, a little girl and a little boy. They're real young. Um, maybe three and two, two and th something like that. Maybe three and four by now. It's been a while. Uh, and the two with her are like seven and eight. You know, they're all really young. Anyway, Salvador has the two little ones. And he just sent her a picture. They're in Ecuador where her first husband took her and left her. He abandoned her. They were going to live there because supposedly the cost of living was cheaper. He ended up uh, hitting her and took all the money, but 200 and some, left her enough to get a place and get some food and do whatever she wanted to do to take care of herself. Never did get money from them. But anyway, uh, that's where those two came from. They're American. She, uh, anyway, it's a long story. The point is, she should be in America, but she's not. She's in Ecuador. And if you've followed any of the news, uh, Ecuador has had uh, severe storms. And now they're having flooding. And he sent her a picture of the floods coming by their house. Now, they do live in a, a more of a mountainous area than Morella does. But she asked, she sent the email to ask me to pray for him and the children. She cares about him. But she just could not, she gave her heart to the Lord and decided, we can't live together. I have to, we have to be married. He wouldn't marry her. She had to leave. So, um, since he doesn't work, he's disabled. She has to pay him money every month for child support. Her life's just a mess. I know I'd be depressed, too, if I was in her shoes. And she has to homeschool the children. The schools are still closed. So, um, it's just been really tough on her. Now, um, a lot of you don't know Scott, but you might. You've seen Scott, uh, um, uh, so anyway, keep in prayer, Salvador and the babies, because they have nowhere to go. I don't suppose they have. 
the kind of National Guard that goes around and gets you out of your house. I think it's more than one story, so perhaps if the, uh, yeah, she's got a, it must be three stories. He's got the middle level. Oldest brother has the top level, and the sister has the bottom level. It's built in such a way that three families can live there. It was their parents' home, and they all inherited it. Well, anyway, so they could all go up one more floor, and let's pray that will suffice and that it would be even better if the Lord would spare them of their thoughts things but maybe this will get him to pray because she tried to get him to turn to the Lord give his life to the Lord repent and all that when she was living with him and um, he wouldn't so maybe something like this will get him to turn to him so that's we we'll pray for him and his that situation. Salvation's number one. And also for Scott, who helps her out some as he can, there's a few people that are able to send her money. Um I mean, it barely keeps her in rent and food for all of them because she has to pay Salvador, buy their clothes, pay when they were in school. She had to pay their daycare or the money she gave him paid their daycare and the boys' school fees, uniforms backpacks, all that stuff. Now she's homeschooling, so that's probably a relief in that sense. So let's keep them in our prayers, please. All of you prayer warriors, please write Morella, Salvador, um, four children. Uh, um, see, it's Timothy and David with her. Christina, I forget the baby boy. I forget his name. Anyway, they're so cute. She sent me lots of pictures, and they're just so cute. I just pray Jesus will come and take them all and, and take her. I pray. I, I believe she's... Um, I believe she she loves Jesus most and, and will most likely be in the first fruits rapture. Now, about praying for Scott, please put him on your list if you're a prayer warrior and you keep a list. Scott is, he's already disabled. I think he lives at home. So that's how he's able to help. But um, he fell and he broke his ankle and into his leg, lower leg bones. Them bone, there's three bones involved, I think. So he's had a real hard time with getting around and stuff. I don't even think he's getting physical therapy, but I could be wrong. I don't know what kind of, he should have Medicare if he's on disability. He's here in the States, so yeah, he should, should have had at least some physical therapy. Well, anyway, so he's just a very, very giving man, young man, and uh, I ask that you would keep him in your prayers, okay? And um, please keep me in your prayers as well, okay? Um, the Lord knows why. And uh, it's too long of a story to go into right now. Um, well, 
to make a very long story short, I, I want off all my medicine. The Lord has got to tell me to do it. And he has to tell me how. Because I don't want to end up in the hospital. I want to stay as far away from them as I possibly can. So I don't want to do anything stupid. You know what I mean. Pharmacia is bad, but I'm hooked on it. I mean, anytime you're on something on a regular basis, even my little bit of blood pressure medicine, if I just quit it cold turkey without the Lord saying, I mean, my pressure is always good, but will it go up real high? It shouldn't. It's never been real high. It's more of, I mean, it was like, 130 over 88, you know, it stayed up just a tiny bit high. So they put me on this little dose of Herbie Sartan. And I've been taking it, so now I'm like 110 over 70 when it's good. But occasionally it still registers up in that higher range. So it's a more of a prophylactic, you know, like a keeping it down so it doesn't stay up and and then there's all the others for the abnormal movements I'm not on a heart pill I'm not taking the blood thinner I'm taking black seed oil I got all those supplements and I think they're okay you know okay I'm not going to say anything more about that just please keep me in your prayers about it because I need to hear from him about it. I don't want a doctor to tell me because I already know what they're going to say. Oh, you need to stay on that. Well, you need to stay on this. I don't, you know. Anyway, I'm going to, I got to go to bed, so I'm going to end it here. And I thank you all in advance for your prayers for these people. So I just pray that Salvador doesn't have to scoop up because he's like 65. He's older. I'm pretty sure. 60 something. And he has those two little babies. Dear Lord, help him. Hold back the floods. Make them go in another direction. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. I love you all. God bless each and every one of you. Your comments mean so much to me. And I'm sorry I've been behind getting to them. I've been trying, you know, I've been watching the videos that some people have sent. They, they were longer than usual. I watched two long ones today. And I wanted to share them. Then I had to take a nap, take the dog out, and then I had to do some little bit around here. And, you know, that's... It doesn't take a lot. I get tired. And anyway, that's enough. I think you all know my story. I uh, plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us. And um, our computers and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.